He's got the top job and plans to keep it. Nahiwi Tomoana has been chairman of Nati Kahanunu Iwi Incorporated for nearly 24 years. Its size and population make it one of the biggest iwi in the country. Tomoana is standing for what he says is his final term as chairman of a very diverse iwi in its election this month. We are one of the most colourful and one of the most diverse iwi in the country. Our colour is the power. You can't put us in any category or any colour because we have the broad spectrum. So it's about creating unity within this diverse, this positive diversity. Ngāti Kahanunu has grown its treaty fisheries settlement money and is the first iwi to catch and process its own and other iwi's quota. It is poised to take a stake in Napier Port, the lifeblood of the local economy. But despite the successes and stability the iwi has enjoyed under Tomoana's leadership, some say it's time for a change. Do you think it's time for new ideas? Ngāti Kahanunu, uh, Kahanunu himself was an innovator and he was an entrepreneur. So every day we change, we innovate, um, we're entrepreneurs. And so it's a normal feature, it's business as usual to innovate. We're here with Kaudanaki behind us, above the Tuki Tuki and facing Te Mata. This place is called Parikarangaranga, which means uh, echoing cliffs. And so reverberations of the past take us into the future, the sounds of the future. And that's what I offer again, to take the reverberations of the past and take the sounds into the future. Will the coming term be very different from previous terms? The coming term will be very different because it'll be focused on whānau, on families. The first 10 years was focusing on making iwi strong with a good economic base and an autonomous base where we could develop our culture. Second 10 years was developing hapu strengths so all the land settlement claims have gone to Hapu, so they have their economic engines. Now the next 10 years will be focused on families, whānau and mokopuna to make sure that they're the best they could ever be. Unlike the usual corporate model of the chairman being a solely governance role, Tomoana is a hands-on chairman, and some say he does not consult enough, such as when he demanded a walking track excavated on sacred Teimata Peak be removed. That was a personal decision, not an iwi decision. And it was done by the stunning destruction of one of our best sites. So I did that as a personally rather than as the head of the iwi. Now people had been talking about it for months and did nothing. I saw it for five seconds and I acted. Sometimes it's better to act whether good or bad than hang in the limbo of indecision. And I decided to act. And I went straight to the top, straight to the owner and I said, remediate that track or you're on. Well, I brought it back to the people the next week and I got hammered and I was called insane, um, maniacal, uh, dictatorial, but it was a personal decision based on my personal history with that part of the manga. When my grandmother was taken captive in the time by the musket bearing um, Waikato people, she slashed herself with a, with, a, with a flint on there and she says, my blood is gonna be in this land forever but you can take my body. And so we're the blood that follows up, we're the kaitiaki, and that sense of kaitiaki tanga and duty to my great grandmother um, drove me to do what I did. And no apologies, not then, not now. What do you bring to the job? I bring um, leadership, and I'll create new leadership. And we've been running um, wānanga to drive leaders out of the whānau, out of the hapu, and to stand up and take their place in the region. And so Kahungunu needs strong leadership at this time. I've shown it, I'll show it again, but it's time to move on in another three years, and I'll do that in three years' time. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.